All right, guys. So today is Father's Day, June the nineteenth, two thousand sixteenth, and this is Miss Collins, Miss Tilt, like it is, sixty-seven. So I'm sure you guys are probably wondering why are you making these videos? Like, what what is the purpose of you making these videos? If you are to ask that question, then you don't need to be watching my video. <laughs> For real, seriously. Because if you, if if someone to ask for someone to ask me that type of question, you you just don't get it. You you just don't get it. You should get it. <laughs> okay, you should get it. If you don't get it, then you're not. You should be watching this video, my videos pertaining to what's going on here, like this. Mm -mm. No. Okay, because <laughs> I'm living in Nitro. Okay. And for every individual, based upon their living experience, there's always a different story. Always. And for anyone who's been following my story, this is my story. This is, this is what I'm going through between me. This is, these, this is the steps that I am taking to ensure that my little boy, my two boys, my oldest son, even though he's military still, I'm making sure I leave a message before I leave. And when I say before I leave, if my little boy was born in 2004, contracted pneumonia in his lungs, and then asthma 2015, and then my oldest son, he had a skin situation that almost prevented him from going. And now my youngest son, is, it seems like he's having that same skin situation. What do you think is happening with me? What do you think is happening with me who's been exposed to the elements and the irrelevance a whole lot more than my kids? All right. See these windows? Remember this one? One two, three. See the paint job that I'm doing? Myself. Myself. See my job cloth? All of these things were purchased at my expense. Okay? My expense. This these are my purchased items. Everything that I'm showing you, the paint, the paint pan, the roller, this roller, I bought that from Home Depot. That cost me like twenty dollars. Why? Because it extends. It extends for us. It extends so high that I don't have to bend my arms. I don't have to bend. Okay. These are my gloves. That's my paint. Um, paint pan. This is my tool. Now, <clears throat> remember I showed you guys my tool bag? Can you see my tool bag? You see my tool bag right there? All right. My black paper bag, more of my drop cloth. More. Did Nitro provide this to me? Hell no. No way. And I got receipts to prove that. I got receipts to prove every piece of item that I purchase. Yes. So, you see this paint job here? Me. Now, all that, I don't know. I, the paint, I'm not, I don't know about all this because I'm tired. I am exhausted, okay? I basically bought flat. And it should have been flat. It should have been like eggshell or gloss, whatever, whatever the case may be. But they told me that if I purchase the glossy ones or whatever, it's going to leave a fume. And the less fume for my son, the better. Okay? That's me here, still painting, painting away. i got to make some corrections through here. Once again, i got to fix that. Okay? I don't feel like going through it. <laughs> but it is what it is. This is my son's room. That's his. That's the drop cloth that I put there to protect his furniture or whatever. This is the paint that I did to his window. Okay. 
That's his a SpongeBob um, yellow paint that I purchased for him. Customized paint. Okay, I showed you guys all the mud and whatever, whatever coming through there. I painted over here too. Paint everything. Painted it. Okay, and that's him. Sorry, that. Sorry. This here is plastic to protect his stuff. My bedroom. Okay. This is my bedroom. This is the paint process that I've done. This is everything. I showed you guys how I primed it. Showing you guys how I painted it. Over here also. Okay, painted it. And now I gotta finish here. Put the plastic on his stuff to protect to protect his stuff that I had to hang here because I didn't want the items to get damaged from the paint in his bedroom. So yeah, I gotta finish that. Okay. Alright. So, with all that being said, I notice a lot of people are saying, Oh, Miss Collins, you're making such a big deal out of it. Why don't you let Nitra take care of it? Why don't you, you know, you're being pessimistic. I'm being pessimistic because I'm fighting to ensure that my son is safe. I'm being pessimistic because I'm not amongst the group. I'm not in that click in that club that smoking weed and smoking cigarettes and drinking beer and playing spades and doing everything and being destructive or whatever because I'm not a part of that click in that club. No, I'm not. But it's funny how New York City Housing Authority, it's, it's funny how NYCHA will take people like that and put them in newly constructed buildings and leave people like me to live in slum. You show me one slum after the next. They showed me one apartment that was really nice. And by the time they got to show me this apartment, I was already, me and my son was so traumatized to a point where we, we couldn't even, we, we was, we couldn't even begin. It was like too late for us. It was too, it was too late for us because we was already on the run. We was already afraid to accept anything from NYCHA because of our experience. And by the time we even made a decision, okay, we're going to take it, it was gone. I was like, you don't even give us a chance to breathe, to take this in. It was gone. So now they're going to show us, or they, or they claim they're going to show us some other development, wherever, I don't know where. I'm like, what are you showing us development after development, like slum development after, what are you doing that for? You got brand new constructed developments out there that you can clearly say, okay, Ms. Collins, you and your son, bag it up, because we're sending you over there. We already know what you're made out of. We see what you're made out of. We see what you're willing to do. We see the level in terms of, you know, we, we, we are aware of how far you will go to ensure the safety of not only for your, of yourself, but of your child as well. We see you. We hear you. Okay? We see you, Miss Collins. We acknowledge you. So therefore, we are going to extend our hand towards you. We see you. Okay? We see it. It's not just hearsay. We actually visually see it. I asked one of the staff, who will NYCHA put into these newly constructed buildings? These newly constructed buildings, who are they holding these buildings for? Who will get priority? They told me people from the shelter. Say what? <laughs> okay, let me get this straight. People from the shelter. You talking about 
people, and I'm not speaking about all people from the shelter, but for the most part, people who have no clue in terms of responsibility, in terms of main, you know, having respect for um, other people, having any knowledge or any clue in terms of owning anything, in terms of maintaining what they own, in terms of repairs or anything to that nature. They just, you're going to take someone from there and just plop them into a brand newly constructed development, building, and what do you think is going to happen to that building? The same thing that happened to this one and all the other places that has been run down to the ground. You need to select people the same way you select your employees. Where is your application? What can you, what is, why should we put you in this newly developed um, building? Why should we put you in this newly constructed building? Why? You need to send those people to some type of program to teach them how to clean. Teach them how to clean. Teach them how to be respectful of their residents. Teach them how to maintain. Teach them how to repair. And to show respect to their neighbors. That's what you should do. That's what you should do. People like me who will put for I will my expense at my expense I'm I'm making purchases for my expense you see this this paint the Spongebob yellow paint for my son's room this paint the green one I'm not all about that put a ticket in type thing I'm not a put a ticket in type person if I put a ticket in and I notice that that ticket is not moving, or I notice that NYCHA closed out my ticket and made some false claim about whatever, this, that, and the third, I'm taking that ticket. And guess where I'm going? Guess where I'm going? But because, because of all of this ticket, ticket, ticket stuff, my child contracted pneumonia in his lungs. He then, that's 2010, he then developed asthma. We ain't, I'm not, no ticket. No ticket. Any ticket that I create, trust me when I tell you, I'm sending it. I'm, ex I'm, I'm escalating it. All right? You can easily tell me, listen. Put Miss Collins in one of these newly constructed apartments so that she can say something nice. So she can make a nice one. So she can say... I have, we have arrived, me and my son. Miss Collins is smiling, Miss Collins is, she's showing, you know, she's saying something good. She, we, she's showing a good video, good blog, vlog, whatever you want to call it. Because right now, she ain't. <laughs> me, she, her, mm -mm. see this? Drop cloth. That's where I am sleeping. That's where I gotta lean my head when I'm tired. Yeah. Yep. Well, where does your son sleep? He sleep in his bedroom. That I mop out constantly and I wipe constantly. Okay. What development is this? Mm hmm This is. <laughs> Park Rock. Park Rock, Consolidated, Ocean Hill, Brownsville, what do you want to call it? Yeah. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Pacific Street location in Brooklyn. 24. Y'all see my video, so you, you guys should know. <laughs> you see it. You should know. You see those chairs down here? Right there? NYCHA, you need to get rid of them. Because the purpose of those benches are for the elderly, right? It's for the elderly, right? 
Okay. I have yet to see an elderly sit on any of those benches. Who I see sitting on those benches? Drunks, trespassers, loiterers, crackheads, drug dealers, whatever, sitting there lounging and sleeping. Inside this courtyard. So NYPD can't see what's going on in this courtyard. But they need to be able to see. They need to be able to see what's going on in this courtyard. So um, how about a camera? How about a camera? Something. That'll work. Yeah, that'll work. <sighs> yeah, so... This is this is this is where I am. This is what's going on. I can't have a day, a quiet day. Okay? I can't. Two. Three. I am one of your better residents. I am one of your residents who care. I am one of your residents who will go that extra mile. I am one of your residents that says to you, if it means for you to go to the extreme and putting me someplace where I can rest and rest in peace, and I mean that literally, I can leave this earth and know that I left at least having one day of happiness. One day, just one day of happiness. Okay? The tile situation. It cracked open. The, this is like really. Oh, we did a good job. You did a good job? Alright. You left the gateway. You see that? Let me show you something. If I can get down here. Look in there. You see that? Can I see it? Let me see if you can see it. You cracked open this, that, and the third, and you left the gateway for the mice. Okay? You did. You left the gateway for the mice. Let me move this cord. <sighs> you came up in here, cracked open. Instead of moving the subfloors, I want to take a picture of this. All right. Instead of lifting up the subfloors as I ask, they chipped away. Y'all saw the video. They chipped away, leaving a nice little gateway for mice. Oh my God, this is too much. Excuse me. Thanks a lot on that. Oh, we did our job. You did your job. You did your job. Every time you people come and try to come after me, I'm the gatekeeper. I have the proof. I got the proof. Me. I got the pictures. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. And let me explain something to you. My health Trust me, my blood is on your hands. My son's health, okay, is on your hands. My health is on your hands. Because unlike any other residents, I'm different. Unlike, it only takes one person to make a change. Just one person. Just like I told you people. It took little David to knock down Goliath. It took Moses. God chose Moses to make that change. It only takes one person. It takes one person to make a difference. So whether my outcome is a positive or a negative, the world's going to know why. They're going to know. The world is going to know why. I want to make Miss Collins happy. I want to keep her quiet. Put me someplace. Put me in a nice apartment. I asked for Williamsburg. I asked for Taylor White. I asked for Independent. I asked for, um, what's the other one? 
Williams Plaza. Put me where the minority, where the majority lives. Not the minority, because I'm not about that. I want to live where the majority lives. Not the minority. Am I being selective? I think I have a right to be. I have a right to be. Come with your happy talks, okay? Call a spade a spade. This is Miss Collins. This is Miss Collins. Just tell it like it is. And that I will do. I will tell it like it is. Give me a reason to smile. Nitra? Give me a reason to smile. If you can.